Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm not there today, but you've got a sub. So we're going to go through these inequalities. There's a couple that you are very familiar with. And then as we get down to the last two, um, we'll need to just like remind ourselves how to get rid of those fractions. So let's start. Okay, so with number one, we need to first move the smaller variable. Okay, whenever there's variables on both sides, you get the variables together. So let's do that by moving the smaller one over. That would be this 2x right here. Okay, so this is the one we're going to move. Okay, add 2x to both sides. Okay, 1x plus 2x. The positive one comes down negative 35. Okay, awesome. Next, there's just constants. Okay, those are just the numbers, like this 1 and this 35. They're planal numbers. Those go together. So we're going to put those together next. The 1 needs to move. The reason the 1 needs to move is because eventually I want this. X alone. So the 1 needs to be moved by adding or subtracting, and then the 3. I'm going to subtract 1 both sides. Let's do this real quick. And then subtract 1 both sides. Okay. So 3x is greater than negative 36. Last step to get the x alone. I've got 3 times x. Let's do the opposite of times. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I get negative 12. And I don't even need to graph, so I'm done. Good job. Okay, this is a little more involved because of the parentheses, distributive property, and we have to combine like terms a lot. So first, get rid of the parentheses by distributing. Okay, don't touch the 6x, okay? Negative 2 times x, negative 2 times positive 2, greater than symbol. The 2 stays, we're only distributing the negative 3. Negative 3 times x, negative 3 times positive 3. Perfect. Lots of like terms. Okay, right here, 6x take away 2x. Put those together. I have 6 take away 2. 4x. Okay. Over on the right hand side, 2 minus 9. 2 and negative 9. Sorry, let me do that. Okay. Negative 7, 2 minus 9, minus 3x. Okay. Uh, there's variables on both sides. Let's get the variables together by moving the smaller variable over. This is the smaller variable, negative 3x. Add 3x to both sides. Okay. 4x plus 3x right here on the left. 7x minus 4 is greater than just negative 7 because this ended up canceling. Okay, now the minus 4. Add 4 to both sides. The 4s are gone. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. We're going to get a fraction answer, but that's okay. Oh, divide by 7 both sides. x is greater than, and it's going to be a fraction negative 3 sevenths. If I had to graph that, just because it's difficult, I want you to see it. It'd be on the negatives. It'd be about negative half. Open circle, greater than. Like that. Okay? Good. 
Okay, so now we're at the two um, more difficult problems at the end where we have to get rid of the fraction. The best way, I think, to get rid of the fraction is to get rid of that three denominator. So I'm going to suggest that you multiply by three over one everything that's out of parentheses. Okay, so these threes cancel. Five is still there on the outside. Less than or equal to. Three times two x. Six x. Negative seven times three. Negative twenty one. Good. Now I have to distribute to get rid of that. So let's do that. Okay, 30x plus 15 less than or equal to 6x minus 21. Okay, let's get the x's together. Move the smaller one. The 6 is smaller. So here's I have. 30 minus 6, negative 21. Next, I'm going to need to get the constants together. That's this, the 15 and the negative 21. So I'm going to do minus 15 both sides. 24x is less than or equal to negative and negative, 21 negatives, 15 more negatives, negative 36. Okay, last step, let's get the x alone, so I'm gonna move the 24. It's 24 times x, you get rid of something that's times by dividing. 24 over 24 cancels, it's like a one x. Okay, 12 goes into both of these. So I'm actually going to reduce this fraction, 36 over 24, by 12. Negative 36 divided by 12. 24 divided by 12. Negative 3 halves. Awesome. Last one. Find the common denominator. Common denominator of a 2, a 4, and a 2. Common denominator is 4. Multiply everything by the common denominator. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Common denominator is 4. Everything gets multiplied by 4. Okay, now it's a matter of simplifying. They're like 4 over 1s, right? Okay, 2 goes into 4 twice, and this 2, far right, look at the far right, this 2 goes into 4 twice. Okay, 2 times 1x, 2x minus 4 times 1, these 4s cancel, so actually it's not, it's just 1 times 1. Here, 4 times 2, 8x. Subtract 1 times 2. All right, let's get the variables together. So I move the smaller variable. 2x is smaller. Okay, negative 1 is all alone on the left. 8x take away 2x, 6x, and then minus 2. Okay, let's get the 2 and the 6, the 2 and the negative 1 together. This is a negative 2, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Okay. 1 is greater than or equal to 6x. 
I'm going to divide by 6 to get the x alone. Okay, we're going to have to switch this. Because right now, r r r r r r r it's eating the 1 sixth. So I need to make sure it, when I flip it, it still eats the 1 sixth. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Okay, time to get started on 1 through 12, your classwork and homework.